the SEO Compass. It's a new and powerful template that allows you to optimize your content for search engines like Google inside of Notion. Why did I create this template? Um, I started to work with Notion about one year ago and I soon I was totally fascinated by this powerful productivity tool and I um, yeah I switched uh, most of my content planning and my content uh, writing from Google Docs to Notion but it was all it was always um, a nuisance to actually optimize the content inside of Notion for SEO and I didn't uh, so far I didn't see any templates that are actually that actually try to solve this issue some SEO templates exist but um, as far as I know uh, none of these templates actually focuses on optimizing the SEO content and to be honest in the beginning I thought okay it's probably impossible to do to create a tool like Yoast for WordPress uh, inside of Notion because formulas are too limited and uh, probably I just need to buy an external tool to um, actually yeah optimize my content for SEO but um, yeah some weeks ago I just started to play around with formulas and I just try to see what I can actually do with uh, the formula functions in, in Notion and I discovered that I can actually calculate the numbers or the number of keywords in a text and with the number of keywords I can very easily calculate the keyword density and that Eureka moment actually uh, led to, um, <laughs> to a night shift where I developed a lot of formulas and actually could mimic the Yoast plugin from WordPress uh, in inside a Notion template and that was the birth of my SEO compass. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump into my template and see what I have created. So we are inside the SEO compass. And the first thing you see is that I'm searching for affiliates. So if you're willing to promote my template on your website or on your social media, I pay a 50% commission fee for every sale you are generating. So let's see what my template can offer. Uh, the first block it's about importing or writing the content so you can either import content from google docs or word or you just write inside of notion then you can just create a new column here and give the title that's the title of your content and it should be optimized for seo of course uh, in that case it's just a test title i've already prepared something here you can see more data maybe that's more useful for you just click here and um, it's um, a dummy content uh, for the template and I'm optimizing for the keyword uh, notion template you see that's my title and I use the same title as a meta title in some cases it can be useful to use different titles for example maybe you want to, to write an attractive title for social media uh, but in that case, you probably write something different uh, than for SEO. And in that case, uh, you just uh, um, optimize your meta title for SEO and write something different for social media. Uh, so the social media title would be the normal title and the SEO title would be the meta title. In that case, the, um, yeah, it could make sense to have two, two different titles. But in most cases, in most cases, it will be just the same. Content, um, that is the content you have written. You can either import uh, just the plain content or you can convert it into HTML. For some functionalities of this template, uh, HTML is required, but it's just a small part of the whole SEO score I'm calculating. So if you are not able to convert it into HTML, it's actually not a big deal, but I will talk about it a little bit later. Domain, uh, that property is about the domain where you are actually publishing your content. Um, I need to know, the template needs to know your domain, otherwise it cannot check for internal links. So just enter the domain here and 
Of course, internal link check is something where HTML is required. Otherwise, it cannot really see if you have, yeah, if you have uh, inserted internal links or not. So if you want to check for internal links, please use HTML content and enter the domain where you're publishing the content here. Main keyword, um, that's actually really important. Before you write anything for, or before you optimize for SEO, you need to know if there's actually um, a search volume for the topic you're writing about. So you need to do an SEO research, a keyword research. Um, for social media, sometimes it can, yeah, you don't need to do it because um, it's more about uh, writing compelling uh, headlines and not so much about what are people searching for. But if you want to rank on Google, of course, it doesn't make sense to optimize for keywords nobody's searching for. So um, try to look if there is um, um, a good search volume. So at least some hundred searches per month would be ideal. And um, how to actually do keyword research? Well, that's a big topic. There are a lot of tools that you can use for keyword research. Personally, I'm using Ahrefs, but it is a little bit expensive. And for most users, yeah, probably too expensive. They don't want to spend, uh, yeah, so much money. I think at the moment it's about 100 bucks per month on a SEO tool. Luckily, some cheaper alternatives exist. I would recommend to use uh, Ubersuggest. That's a tool from Neil Patel. It is not totally free, but you have, I think, about three searches per day that are free. If you want to do more research, you have to pay about 29 or 39 bucks per month. I'm not really sure about <laughs> the price, about the, the latest price, but it's much cheaper than Ahrefs or the other more established SEO tools. Um, yeah, free searches per day. For most users, I guess it should be enough. Uh, if you're just writing uh, or publishing one or two blog posts per week, yeah, you don't need to do more research actually. And it's the same if you're, yeah, just writing on medium.com. Yeah, free searches per day should be uh, enough for you and uh, you should be happy with the free version of Ubersuggest. The next property is meta description. Um, yeah, like the meta title, it's really important because it's the first piece of content users see in the search results. And if the meta description is not attractive, they will probably not click on your website. So try to invest some time in writing an attractive meta description. And it's, it's, it's always a good idea. It's always a good idea to include a keyword because people who are searching for Notion template, of course, um, it's more likely that they will click on a website that is that is mentioning uh, the keyword, in that case, Notion template, inside the meta description. And one more property, it's the main image. So, yeah, um, you should try to yeah publish attractive content. And, of course, if you're just publishing plain text, for most users, it's not really attractive. So it's always good to combine it with images or videos and try to at least have one uh, one uh, header image to make the content a little bit more attractive. In that case, in that case, it's a picture of a compass. If you want to add an image to Notion, just click on add file or image. Just click on upload or embed a link that is linking to the image. So we have now learned how to write content with uh, my SEO Compass template. But the big question now is, where do you actually see what to improve uh, in the content? Where do you actually do the SEO analysis? Um, on the site, here you have the menu. And if you click on any of these titles, you will uh, navigate to a different topic. For example, here, optimized title or optimized content or content stats. That's more a general overview over the quality of your content. Let's click here. Let's click on content stats and, and we land directly um, at that overview. And what do we see here? So 
it's more a more general view over your content so how many words you've written how much how is the readability of your content yeah it's 62 so it's pretty pretty well um yeah so the readability for the flash reading e score it goes from zero to hundred if it's zero it's very hard to read or impossible to read text and if it's hundred it's a basic text for little children so um try to be yeah between the range of 60 to 80 and you should uh, have a high readability the score here that's my seo score it's calculated from all the things uh, that are checked by this template and the seo score here is 89 so it's pretty good there might be some small things i could tweak to get an even higher score here for example i could write more than thousand words to get the full score in this case i've just written more than 300 words so i get half the points if you write less than 300 words you don't get any points in this case so that is the content stats let's look at the next point or the next block it's optimized the title because we want to have an yeah attractive title and it is important that the title is not too long um, otherwise um, google will not uh, display the, the full title in the search results and you should include the keyword in the title and optimally you should actually have the keyword in the first half of the title because um, for Google it uh, is a sign that the keyword is uh, more important for the content if it's in the first half. Content optimization is uh, the next block and here we see the words, uh, the word count again um, but what's more important now is the keyword density. So we have found the keyword seven times in the content and that means we have a keyword density of 1.1% that's pretty good uh, so ideally the q density is between one or four percent um, you should not have less because then uh, you yeah you're signaling google that it's not really important for the content but you should not go above four percent because google would think okay maybe you're spamming maybe um, it's more like a spam content that's not really um, <laughs> adding a lot of value um, and the last point is keyword in the first 20% of the content. So we want to uh, distribute the keyword evenly in the content. And it's important that it's actually mentioned in the beginning of the content as well, uh, so that readers from the beginning know that you are actually writing about the, the, that, that keyword, that the content is about the keyword they're searching for. Optimize uh, meta title is the next point, and it's pretty similar to optimize title. Here we check for the same parameters, uh, but just for the property meta title. In many cases, you use the same title, so it doesn't matter a lot. Uh, but if uh, the meta title and the content title are different, yeah, of course, you need to try to optimize both of them. Um, yeah, don't uh, write too many characters. Uh, if it's more than 65, it's probably not, uh, yeah, it's probably cut by Google and it will not display the whole title. And you should include the, the keyword and the keyword should be in the first half of the meta title. As mentioned before, meta description is really important. So uh, here we have our meta description uh, displayed. You see it's just dummy content that is displayed but i've included the keyword notion template here so that we get um, good results <laughs> and um, you see you have a character limit as well in the meta description if it's uh, if it is longer than 160 characters uh, yeah google will probably not display everything you should try to write less but of course um, if it's just um, yeah a few characters you're writing for example 20 30 characters it's yeah it's not enough so try to be between 140 and 160 characters and you should have a pretty decent meta description and of course try to include the keyword as well it's not something that is um yeah counted directly by google but of course if uh, somebody is searching for a keyword like notion template 
it's always good if he sees uh, the keyword in the first piece of content he is seeing in the search results. And now we come to the advanced content optimization. Here, um, yeah, small caveat, here some of the things here are just calculated when you actually insert HTML content. So if you are actually importing content, uh, you need to import it as HTML, so formatted as HTML, so that the tool can check for the HTML tags like H2, H3, etc. And of course for the HTML link tags so that it can check for links and for the domain, for the internal domain. Otherwise, without HTML, there's no way for the tool to check it. So uh, if you want to have that kind of uh, SEO analysis, please enter HTML, but it's just a small part of the whole SEO score. So if you don't uh, know how to do it, or if you don't have converted your text into HTML, it's actually not a big deal. And we are already at the last point. That is the readability analysis. You just see how many words you have written. You see the flash reading e-score again. And now you see some more data, for example, the average words per sentences, in that case, 14.55, and the number of H2 tags and the number of H3 tags. Uh, one thing I'm planning for the next version of the tool, of the template, is to actually calculate uh, the subheadings um, density so that you don't have uh, too large gaps without subheadings. Because subheadings are important, because nowadays people don't do text from the beginning to the end, but they rather scan the text. So they scan the text, they scan for subheadings, and if they come to a passage that's interesting for them, they are just reading that kind of passage. But normally they're not reading the whole text. So, so it's important to have something like a subheading that is uh, catching the attention of the reader. And the more subheadings you have, the easier it is for people to scan a text. And that is my SEO compass. Uh, you've seen all the functionalities I've implemented so far, but to be honest, I have a lot of ideas. So uh, soon I will publish a new version with some more functionalities, but I hope it's already um, convincing for you. And I hope uh, you find that template useful. If you want to check it out, just click on the link in the description. And if you want to become an affiliate for my template, um, yeah, just click on the second link in the description and you can apply to become an affiliate. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching. See you soon and have a nice day. Ciao.